Squad back with another video. Democrat goes to Trump route. Realizes Dems are screwed. Make sure I hit the like button, subscribe, but definitely appreciate everybody tuning in and watching this reaction. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First of all, thank you for coming on. I would imagine this is the last place you ever thought you would be on. Oh, never in a million years <laughs> did I think that this would happen. <laughs> right, right. Um, you are a Democrat, um, and or well, you I were. Was. You were a Democrat. You're an independent now, and it's yeah. my... We had an argument back and forth. It's my understanding that you are still going to be voting for a Democrat or possibly voting. You're not you haven't changed to a Trump supporter or, or, or voter, right? Well, I really don't know. I mean, I frankly wow. don't know. See that? See that right there? <clears throat> Can you all hear me? See that right there is literally. Literally. And I apologize for the last two videos. Um, my audio is a little messed up. Um. I see. I think a lot of Democrats that I don't watch with these interviews going to Trump rallies and stuff like that, the videos I didn't react to and the videos that I've seen, end up switching over to be a Republican or full out loving Trump. Crazy. No, who might. But good. The options are in the general election, and I think that uh, there are absolutely some some uh, pretty high profile contenders that I will not vote for under any circumstances. So we'll see. So tell the story for anybody who didn't read. Tell your story. Yeah, so I, um, you know, I had been going on this journey for the past, you know, six months or so where I was really starting to feel very uncomfortable in an echo chamber that I had created for myself. And I started listening to just different conservative voices. And they kind of all culminated when I decided to go to the Trump rally in Manchester, New Hampshire last week. I thought I will be Trump. Trump have a, a, a rally here in Indianapolis, uh, Indiana. I will be going all culminated when I decided to go to the Trump rally in Manchester, New Hampshire last week. I thought if there's anything, I, I can't think of anything bigger I could do to break out of my very liberal echo chamber. And everyone that I talked to about this idea was genuinely concerned for my safety. And that includes people on the left and the right. They were both really concerned that I was going to be physically harmed at this rally, mm. either by the supporters or by Antifa. I've never seen a Trump rally where uh, Trump supporters... Her, if, it's, if, it's, if it's a video, I would like to see, but I, so far, I haven't seen it. Concerned that I was going to be physically harmed at this rally, mm. either by the supporters or by Antifa or whoever. But I decided to go anyway, and I discovered that, you know, hey, shocker, they're just average, normal people that are really, really nice and welcoming. And, and so and, I wrote about it. <laughs> and you said at one point you thought those people were despicable and even deplorables. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I definitely um, went through a phase probably for about a year and a half where I really thought that, you know, anyone who supported President Trump was at best supporting racism and at worst downright racist themselves. Yeah. Wow. Um, and where did that come from? It's I was crazy because she's not the only one that thought that, though, because I feel like a lot of people um, think that a lot of people still think that. Oh, yeah. That's what she just said. Wow. Um, and where did that come from? I was watching a lot of MSNBC. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and then why did you become uncomfortable? Well, I, I'm a knitter, and in the knitting community, and I know this sounds bizarre, but it is a hyper-political um, community at the moment where they have these kind of roving gangs of social justice warriors just attacking people and mobbing them indiscriminately. And hey, when stop, I stop, 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 stop. You're asking me to yeah. process way too much, first of all. Oh, I know. <laughs> most people didn't even know that there was a knitting, an online knitting community. Uh, and yeah. now I'm seeing knitters and roving gangs of social, something just doesn't fit here. It's not what I expect. Well, listen, I understand the feeling because I didn't expect it either. Right. <laughs> Um, but I started seeing this happen just over and over and over again. And at some point, I started speaking up within the knitting community and saying, guys, this is wrong. We shouldn't be doing this. And then they came after me. And at that point, and I, I didn't get it as badly as a lot of people did. But um, at some point, I just said, I, I cannot align myself with these people politically. It's just it's wrong what they're doing. You talked about how one person was bullied so bad online that they, they became suicidal. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? What are the what were the arguments about? 
Um, so in his case in particular, he started speaking up when the mobbings first started happening. And I swear I'm not making this up. All he did was post a poem on Instagram uh, asking for kindness and asking for people to just see each other as human beings. And he was mobbed by thousands and thousands of people. And when he and he eventually did go into the hospital and then his husband posted on Instagram that, you know, please stop the hate. He's in the hospital. And it just got worse and kept escalating after that. So it was really it was really That's that's social media though social media is a mug bro like i feel like regardless like who you are um i know this is gonna probably sound a little bit bad you know um regardless on how anybody uh sees this um <clears throat> when you post on social media first of all it's there when you post on social media you got to be ready for whatever um there's a lot of internet gangsters you know people say it all the time um there's a lot of it. Um, I get bad hate. I get this. And you dang near got to just, you know, uh, rub it off your shoulders. I know it's, it's hard to say, you know what I'm saying? But especially when you keep going and you say things, there's a lot of trolls. Well, as soon as when she said something about uh, guys, you know, chill out type, he's in the hospital. There are a lot of trolls out here that don't care. They're behind the screen and they don't care about none of that, you know. Um, sad to say. But those are things that you have to think about. And I think a lot of people stay away from social media um, with posting and uh, not want to do YouTube and not want to post on Instagram because there are a lot of people that just, you know, hate and it's behind the screen. It's a lot of people. I play the game every day. I play the game every day. Uh, I play Call of Duty. Um, and when I tell you the lobbies be crazy, the lobbies be crazy. It's a lot of people that call me and my family out of uh, our name a lot. And we play around, you know um laugh it off and shit like that but they never got to take it it's people behind it now in person nine times out of ten ten times out of ten person isn't going to do that you know what i'm saying but there's a lot of i mean there's just something that comes with it and it, uh, social media is is, is is one of those things you know um you can get you know what i'm saying this is is i don't i don't really know the word for it but i don't know it has it has its pros and its cons it was really too bad, but thankfully he's he seemed to have really rebounded and now is getting a lot of support from people like me. So who are these people that are in these ro roving mobs? They're just they're people on the very far left that um, anytime something sticks out to them that is outside of their ideology, they try to pressure people into kind of bending the knee and and issuing these massive apologies and, you know, pointing out all the areas where they are wrong in their lives and transphobic and homophobic and fatphobic and all these things. And it's just they're they're I mean, to be blunt, I think they're kind of just horrible, miserable people that want to make other people miserable. And that's crazy because. The fact that I always hear about the left and the far left people that literally just talk. And I didn't have plenty. I'm unsubscribing. A lot of them don't even tell you why. I'm subscribing. You supporting Trump? First of all, <clears throat> I haven't really supported Trump. I like Trump. I like what he's doing. And shit, I say it. I, I kind of do support what he's doing. He, better than, you know what I'm saying, than what, than what we had. I mean, that's just me being me. I mean, that's my opinion on it. Uh, but me being independent and have been independent, learning politics and learning to get into this, um, that's just how I feel about it. And every single time, I've I've not had not one left person that's been nice to me and commented a video without, you know, calling me out of my name, unsubscribing, talking shit about, you know what I'm saying, my channel, all of the above for no reason miserable as well <laughs> and it's crazy well you're starting to sound like a conservative um i know uh because i mean this is this is the thing that really we've been warning about there's there's disagreements on things um that we can disagreements on policies we can go on but when you're trying to shut people up and you do it through fear and intimidation it's it's a very um a foreign kind of concept to america um, that's not who we were. That's not what made us great. That's not what made us big. And anyone who's doing it on any side is is really engaging in some really dangerous stuff because it always ends I, the I, same I, way. 
I, I totally agree. And when people started telling me to shut up specifically, that was when I started really taking a look at it. Because for me, you know, expression is a gift that we've all been given. And, and if you want to like change that, people's yeah. minds, you have to do it through conversation, not through intimidation. Exactly. And I, she, everything that, that, that little sin that you have to do it through conversation, not intimidation. That literally, I, I liked it. I liked it. I like what she's saying because that is for real. Like that's true. You have to do a, a conversation. It's a lot of people that I've actually uh, looked at, uh, reacted to, and a lot. It's a lot of left people that literally yells, yells in your face, spit at you, throw shit at you, do, and and, and it's crazy. It's it's dead ass crazy. And I want I want to see it for myself. I, I definitely want to see it for myself. I don't want to be in it, but I want to see it for myself. I always see it on videos and shit like that. I know y'all going to say you don't want to be there and stuff like that, but I want to see it for myself. It's so crazy how people can act just because they don't agree with you, what you agree with. And a lot of those people, they just doing it just because their friend doing it, or they doing it because they look cool, or they doing it. They're not even doing it. They, not, they don't even know their research. When they get asked the question, they quick. Okay. I'm about to start yelling. So you said the day you went to the Trump rally, MSNBC was there. And so you yeah. you wanted to uh, uh, you, you wanted to go among some familiar territory first. So you went and uh, what was your experience there that morning? Well, I was wearing a red hat that looks kind of like a Trump hat that says make speech free again. It's my little protest against cancel culture. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's always a conversation starter and people struck up a conversation. And I said, oh, I'm thinking about going over to the Trump rally. And they were like, don't do it. They're going to hurt you. They're going to harass you. And one woman. It's crazy because I actually watched a video of, of uh, people saying it to the black guy. Uh, they were like. Don't do it. They'll hurt you over there. They'll do this. They'll do that. He went over there. Everybody was nice, welcoming. He was like, so am I going to be safe when I go over there with you? Am I going to be? Hey, yeah, come on. Come on in. You can come with me. You can stand by me. I don't. That's crazy. One woman even offered me her pepper spray. And I just said, I, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to be fine. It's going to be OK. <laughs> so crazy. what was the what were you what were your thoughts? Because I'm sure these people were being genuine. Yes. So what were your thoughts on? On that, especially somebody of your profession, that you look and say, these people genuinely care about my safety. They're really warning me. And it's almost unhinged from reality. Well, yeah, and I think that, um, you know, when when literally every single person around you is in fear of your safety, it's really hard not to question and say, yeah. what are they seeing that but I I'm don't not. see? But it's, it's also an indication that I knew I had to do it at that point because I knew I had to see for myself what was going on. That's crazy. I definitely enjoyed this video, though. It, get, it gives you a lot of, you know, uh, insight on these things when it comes to, uh, you know, these Trump rallies and these, Trump, you know, it, it, it gives you that. Um, it's, it's crazy. It's definitely crazy. Um, I definitely wanted to see this, uh, you know, and I, I wanted to spread this out because a lot of other people need to see this. That's not about the right. Regardless of what you're voting for, you can't be in. Don't, don't be so intimidating. Have a conversation. You might have a person that that literally uh, my sister's calling. I'm doing a video. Give me like two okay. seconds. All right. Uh, <clears throat> she made me forget what I was saying. Uh, but you, you, you if people have to stop doing the intimidate. It's it's cool at having a conversation. No matter what side, you can be on the right, you can be on the left, having a conversation. You might have that person. Okay, that's on the right. That's oh, okay. I see what you're saying here. So either I'm about to go independent, I'm about to stay right, or I'm about to go left. It's it's all we're having a conversation. I feel like. We all, it's people that's just lost, you know, and, and don't know anything. Um, and, it, and it's sad. You don't, you, you can't even have a conversation anymore. People just want to yell. They want to throw shit, want to spit in your face. And it's crazy. But definitely appreciate everybody tuning in watching this reaction. Make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe button. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in. Much love. Catch y'all next one.